That's much better. Get the old phone holder and drinks. And I can put that in there too. Yeah. Seems the Chevrolet's got a big problem. Whoop. I need more duct tape for this. There we go. <laughs> Like I said, it seems like Chevrolet's got a big problem on their hands. I've been hearing from people all over how their 2020 Chevrolet product works well or doesn't work. An awful lot of them are having problems, and you can uh, I don't have a rear view mirror in this rock. Good as it's going to get. There we go. Well, where was I? I having to wear my hat because my rock doesn't have a roof either. Or cameras, or heated seats, or cooled seats. My standard rock is a base model. I have to park it out here because I can't park it under the driveway because we have a new puppy. And that puppy can run up under that truck, and I'm not going to run over that dog. So my new truck had 15 cameras, and I could see all the way around it. But it doesn't do me any good in the shop. The substitute rock, it's all right. I mean, it gets me where I need to go, but not very well. Well, I hope you can hear me okay. My rock doesn't have windows. My standing rock does, but uh, I don't trust it either anymore. I've heard of people having problems with the gas engines in these, and one man says his is in the shop for the third time for the same problem of mine. Batteries dying. One of the viewers sent in a comment that said, his problem had been with glow plugs. Now, that was interesting to me because that was the one thing I had not thought of as a battery drain. Those glow plugs use about 10 amps a piece. There's eight of them. And that is the only thing I can think of that could use that much power. Remember, it set right there and in three hours, the batteries went down to five volts for the third time now. The first time it went to three volts, the second time it went to three volts, now it's at five. Anyway, if those glow plugs were running, they could use a lot of energy and nobody would ever know. The only thing I can think of is something is eating all the power. And whether it's the new electric parking brakes or uh, some other thing that can use a lot of power and not have damage to it that you can physically see uh, how they're going to find out what it is. You know, if there's a shorted ground, you'd probably have some arcings or something like that going on. Or it'd be loose. You could at least test that. But a glow plug is hidden inside the engine. You wouldn't see any damage to it visually. And frankly, it could use all that power up. So I think you should check that, GM. I don't know how you're going to check it, and I don't know why your your vehicle won't turn off when it detects a high voltage drain. It turns the lights off. You know, it, it knows when it's using electricity. So why doesn't it give you a warning or turn something off when it's using that much electricity? If it is the glow plugs, I suspect that they're... Uh, their lifespan has been dramatically reduced by three episodes of going on and staying on until the battery's drained. It's also dramatically reduced the life of that battery because you're not supposed to get them below about 10.5 and then damage starts. So I'm just going to sit here on my rock and let people smarter than me figure it out. This is their last chance. This is the third time for the same problem within 17,000 miles. 
They let me have a loaner truck that's always a base model. It doesn't have all the things I need to properly do my job. This one doesn't have brakes, so I can't pull my trailer with it. It's just not a good thing, GM. I don't know when my truck will be back. I don't know if I even want it back at this point because I'm frustrated with not knowing about the future. When you can't trust something, I don't know what to tell you guys. I guess I'll just sit here on this rock. It's the only one I can depend on. Play on my phone. I wonder if they make how to fix a truck for dummies books. That would be a good thing for everybody to read.